Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You may be seated. My name is Janice Della Grammaticus, and I am a principal with our Come, Get, Come Back Kids Charter School. I'm, I'm pleased to welcome you to the 2023 Come Back Kids graduation ceremony and to express our gratitude for your presence at today's celebration of the achievements of our graduates. We also recognize those parents, family, friends, significant others, educators, and the community who have surrounded our graduates with unwavering support. Commencement means beginning, and we look at this graduation as a new beginning to the education in life. Esteemed audience, at this time, I invite you to please stand as we begin our program with the presentation of the colors by the Leadership Military Academy under the directions of Captain Joe Vines, instructor, drill instructor. Um, this will be followed by Bethany Vistham leading the Pledge of Allegiance. Let's place our right hands over our hearts. Let's begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Thank you, Ms. Vissom, Captain Vines, and cadets for a beautiful tribute. I would like to acknowledge several distinguished guests who are with us today. Please hold your applause until all dignitaries have been introduced. It is my privilege to introduce the Riverside County Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Edwin Gomez. I, I am pleased to introduce members of the Riverside County Board of Education. President Barbara Hale, Vice President Coach Ray Curtis, Member Jamie Aspetia Sachs, Member Elizabeth Romero. Your presence, support, and leadership are greatly appreciated. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Ruth Perez, Riverside County Office of Education Deputy Superintendent. I'm, I am pleased to acknowledge the members of the Superintendent's Cabinet. Please stand. <laughs> Next. I would like to acknowledge and introduce our administrative team from Alternative Education and Special Education. Executive Director, Alternative Education, Dr. Deanna McCarty. Alternative Education Ad Administrator, Randy Kovacevic. Psychologist, Chris Munikash. Principal, Lucy Gonzalez. And my co-principal, Teresa Swickla. I would also like to acknowledge our CDPs, administrators, psychologists, teachers, clerical and instructional support staff 
for their dedication and commitment to the success of every student. Please stand and be recognized. Some of our students have distinguished themselves through their outstanding academic achievement and their participation in college and career readiness activities. Some students have a gold honor stall, and this represents their achievement of the highest academic excellence. Other students are wearing a white stall, which symbolizes their participation in Skills USA and student-led enterprises. Some of our students are wearing blue cords that represents their participation in student leadership. And some of our students are also wearing gold cords that symbolize their uh, completion of dual enrollment college courses while enrolled with Comeback Kids. Will those students please stand and be recognized? At this time, I would like to invite Dr. Edwin Gomez, Riverside County Superintendent of Schools, great supporter and advocate for students, to share a few words. Good afternoon to everyone. So wonderful to be here to honor our students, to honor their achievements and accomplishments. Let's give our students a big round of applause tonight. So I want to congratulate our CBK students for all of your achievements. I know uh, obtaining your diploma, obtaining this wonderful pathway to your next chapter in your life is not easy. Many of you had to face the pressures of life. Many of you had adversity, obstacles to overcome. There were conflicts with relationships. But you were able to manage all of those situations. And the truth is you're here now at this wonderful place in your life. And it would not have been possible if it wasn't for your amazing teachers, the love of your family, the love of your friends. So let's give our educators a big round of applause as well. So my message this afternoon is very simple. Uh, a few years ago, I read this wonderful poem by Linda Ellis titled, The Dash. And I think at some point, all of us have gone to a funeral. And when the minister is conveying his or her message to the audience, they always start with the birth date of that person, and they also end with the, the day that that person passed away. And what Linda Ellis talks about is the most important dates is not necessarily when you're born or the day that you pass away, but the most important part of that equation is the dash. Because the dash denotes how we live our lives, how we struggle, how we face adversity, how we become resilient. And the dash is really what denotes the impact that we've made with our neighbors, the impact that we made with our family members, with our community, and most importantly, with ourselves. And what I love about this poem is the fact that Ellis galvanizes us, the readers, to think about what is the most important thing in our lives. Did we achieve the dreams that you had? And most importantly, did you live your life to the fullest of your potential? And the beautiful opportunity that you have this afternoon, students, is that you have an exciting, promising, and magnificent life ahead of you. How many people believe that today? And every single one of you is a testament to the goal of public education. You competed against mediocrity. You overcame those challenges, the opposition, the negative mindsets, so that you can make a successful life for yourselves. When we have a thirst for a better life, doors will open, and so many more opportunities will continue to flourish around us. I know your experience in the CBK program has provided you with invaluable skills and opened up many doors to your future so that one day you and your loved ones can be proud of that dash within those two very significant dates. As the county superintendent, on behalf of our board, we encourage you to take advantage of the opportunities before you. Please know that we're very proud of you. We believe in you. We know that anything that you put your mind to 
is possible. And we know that you will accomplish a lot in your lifetime. And so we're very, very proud of you. Congratulations to the CBK class of 2023. Thank you, Dr. Gomez, for your inspirational message. It is my honor to introduce Coach Ray Curtis, Vice President, Riverside County Board of Education, to share a few special remarks. How is everyone doing? Let me hear it. Great. Okay, 2023 graduation ceremony for CBK. Everybody's saluting you. <laughs> On behalf of the members of the Riverside County Office of Education, trustees and superintendent Dr. Gomez and his cabinet, we are all very, very proud of your persistence in pursuit of reaching the first step to your future success. Dr. Gomez used the word uh, belief. And throughout my message today, I will be referring to belief. And you notice the title of coach. So this is halftime right now. We're at halftime. And we're ahead, and we're going to stay ahead. So I'm going to share some things. I'm going to give you a piece of me, and your other speakers will do the same thing. I'm anxious to hear the student speakers. The ones I've heard thus far this year in 23 are tear-jerking. They've experienced a lot of things, but they have rebounded and moved forward. The true comeback kids. Now, for you graduates to be here today, there has been commitment from all levels that was mentioned to make this possible. Now, first of all, I believe there's never enough applause. So please join me with a round of applause to thank your parents, friends, and staff for their support in your journey here today. That is great. OK. The referee will tell me when we have to go back on the court. OK. I'll get a technical file if I have to, because I want to give this message to you. Now, just like you, I'm here today because of support and encouragement from family, friends, and most important, a mentor when my parents have passed away to help me continue. My parents gave me some advice that I'd like to share. I'm giving you a piece of me. Never judge a book by its cover. Never give up, and don't be afraid to make a mistake. But my mom and dad also added, learn from the mistake. Don't continue to make the same mistake. They encouraged me to get an education and do the best I can. My parents read to me before bedtime, maybe like most of your parents did, and when you become a parent, I am requiring you to read to your children. OK. The book that I remember that pops out that fits the theme is The Little Engine That Could. It's a little blue engine about gets involved and helps. The, it's about self-efficacy. In short, to believe, there's that word again, believe in yourself. Remember, success begins with your will. My message tonight, or today, this afternoon, will share my thoughts to you regarding the importance of believing in yourself. Your belief in yourself is important to accomplish things on your journey. There are life lessons that I would like to mention later that I feel are around you, but we kind of ignore them, but they have a lesson. And there are three things that I will address later that I believe parallel life lessons. An airplane ride, a casino, and of course, athletics. My experience as a teacher, principal, administrator, and a coach 
validates my belief that an education equals success and schools control the condition for success as exhibited here tonight. So please consider to continue some form of education of the mind. You did your homework in school and just because you're out of school doesn't mean you cannot continue and do life work. To me, each student is a young person on that journey to adulthood. My educational responsibility has been threefold all my career. Help them become successful parents, successful citizens, and successful workers. And that every student has the right, the right to succeed. And every student is capable, capable of making significant progress. Now, lately, I watch television in my spare time, and lately there's been this commercial regarding real estate. And of course, we know the market, everybody wants to sell, the mortgage rates, et cetera. But that reminded me of the rule of threes because the real estate commercial comes up and says there are three important things in real estate. And if you don't remember them right now, that's the location, location, location. Well, that triggered the rule of three for me because usually th uh, items, things happen in threes, some good, and not so good. So the three C's are choices, chances, and change. Those are obstacles you have to take advantage and take the opportunity. You overcome them. You must make the choice to, make a chan to take a chance if you want to do anything to change in your life. So choices, chances, and change, it's up to you. Now, the other three, there's three C's, and I coined them the three P's. If you, you have the purpose, you have passion, and you have persistence. From my perspective today, all of you had those C's, and you, those P's, or you wouldn't be here. So, to increase your chances of success in life, if you put those three together, and I told my kids this, they knew the three C's and the three P's. Before they left the house, I, I said to them, you make sure you take your six pack with you. So today, you take your six pack, your three C's and your three P's and you will be successful. So, I mentioned earlier about s signs of life lessons. I'll start with the airport. Now, most of you, if you're paying attention to the steward, us, on the plane, they start talking about safety and what drops down in front of you. Boom. The, the oxygen mask. And this is what they say. Please put the mo oxygen mask on yourself first. Now, why do they do that? Well, in case you have a child with you, you want to take care of yourself first so you can take care of others. So remember that you take care of yourself Keep a balance in life, eat right, keep physically fit, mentally prepared, okay? The next area of a life lesson is the casino. Now, I frequent them once in a while. <laughs> and my, my wife used to call it recreational spending when she wanted money. So I would give up the money. But I'll date myself with this, but... When you go to the casino, you know, I go to the shows and they eat the buffets, but a lot of people do gambling. I'll date myself from Kenny Rogers, if you haven't heard from him, about him, look him up. But there's a song called The Gambler, so most people go to the casino to gamble. And here's the life lessons in part of his lyrics. Life is indeed a gamble, and every gambler knows the secret to survive in life. Now, from the words of Kenny Rogers, you're playing cards, you got to know when to hold them. You got to know when to hold a situation. You, you got to know when to fold them. That's enough. 
so you don't get in too deep. Car mortgages, high interest rates. You got to know when to walk away from a situation before things happen. And sometimes the gambler has to know when you got to run away. Just turn and run. Somebody like that. Okay. And the last one is athletics. To me, athletics parallels life more than anything. And remember, this is part of your halftime talk. We're ahead. But, but I use this to help me and my teams be successful. Coaches know that there is more to coaching than just the win column and X's and O's. Just as your teachers know that there's more to just teaching you a book. They know you. They want you to succeed. And good coaches know that. So if it's halftime and you're behind, I have used this, what I'm going to share with you, as Dr. Gomez's poem. I have a poem. I learned about this poem when I was in college. And I've taken it with me ever since. I've given it to my students, my staff members, my young people that attend my basketball camps. And I, if you allow me a few seconds, I'd like to read that to you. It's called One of the Important Things of Life, Thinking, Thinking. This was in the 19th century. None of us were here. It's titled Thinking, a poem by Walter Wintle. And I will read it to the best of my ability. If you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't if you like to win, but you think you can't. It is almost a cinch that you won't. If you think you'll lose, you're lost. For out of the world we find success begins with a fellow's will. It's all in the state of mind. If you think you're outclassed, you are. You've got to think high to rise. You've got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win the prize. Life battles don't always go to the stronger or the faster man. But sooner or later, the man who wins is the one who thinks he can. Think about that. Life is not easy, and it's important for you to be the best you can be at every time. In closing, I have a quote from a famous person. Albert Einstein. Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. So class of 2023, keep moving toward your future goals with purpose, passion, persistence, and never give up. As you cross the stage tonight, your footsteps will be leading you to the future. Take advantage of what you learned and be successful citizens. Make a difference. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vice President Ray Curtis. At this time, I'd like to introduce our student speakers. Our graduation speakers will share their inspirational stories and their journeys to this pivotal point in their life. These stories inspire us and remind those who helped along the way of their importance in this journey to success. It is now my great pleasure to present to you our first student speaker, Marlana Molina, a student from Rivers Rubido EOC. Hello, family, friends, and fellow graduates. My name is Marlena Molina. Before I begin, I would like to say thank you to CBK for giving me this second chance at life. Also, a big thank you to my teacher, Dr. T, for making me a better version of myself. Also, I want to thank my mother, who never stopped believing in me. Seeing you work hard every day has inspired me more than you will ever know. I love you, Mom. 
to my husband, thank you for being an amazing support system. Without you by my side, I could not have done this. Graduates, we did it. Today is a great day to celebrate with family and friends. We all worked hard to get to this day. By no means was this easy, and there were many times when I didn't think I was gonna reach that finish line. This is a great accomplishment, one of the major milestones of our lives, high school graduation. This is a major step in our journey to success. It is one that should be recognized. It is not an end goal only of personal commitment, but also one of pride. We all worked hard to get to this day. A high school diploma is a wonderful tool, one that will open many opportunities for anyone who works hard enough to have one. But graduation is not an end in itself. It is instead a part of a larger journey of life. And wherever it takes us, let it take us somewhere great. All of our accomplishments we achieve during its course should be taken as a launching point for further achievements. We have already shown our commitment and dedication to personal growth by making it to the ceremony today. Life is a journey that gives us opportunity to learn new skills that will carry, us, carry with us for the rest of our lives. This graduation has already shown us how capable we all are of accomplishing our goals when we commit ourselves to them. I hope all of us here today can take this personal accomplishment and an example of how anything is truly possible when we put our minds to it. I am not only proud of myself, but I am also proud of everyone here today graduating. Congratulations, class of 2023. Woohoo! Thank you, Ms. Molina. It is now my great pleasure to present to you our second student speaker, Sharon Hernandez. A student from our Betty Gibble CBK site. Wow, I still can't believe I'm here. For many of us, it has been a long journey to getting here today to the stage. Let me start by welcoming our dignitaries, the Comeback Kids faculty, our friends and family, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2023. All of you, will watch us achieve a milestone we will forever remember. In earning our diploma, we become empowered with the knowledge that any obstacle can be overcome and that there is no dream too big to achieve. For a long time, I carried the burden of not graduating high school. The decisions I made as a child impacted my life as an adult. It took me 30 years to decide to return and earn my diploma. After seeing my kids graduate with their class, regardless of the obstacles they had to face, then I knew I had to do it. I was given an opportunity. I took it. And boy, did I have to earn it. We all know coming back to school later in life has its challenges. Our adult responsibilities don't wait on the back burner for us to graduate. There are still jobs, families, kids, spouses, bills, dishes, and everything else that needs our attention. How in the world did we find time to study, complete our assignments, 
attend those weekly meetings, and oh yeah, sleep. It would not have been possible for us to get here without the amazing friendships we formed with both one another as students, as well as the faculty at CBK. When we felt overwhelmed and we were not sure we could continue, we leaned on each other for support. I am forever grateful to the faculty who was always there to guide me when I was lost. Not only did they teach me the curriculum, but also valuable lessons I will carry with me throughout my life. The people I've met through CBK have made me a better person, and for that, I am grateful. Earning our high school diploma today doesn't mean our journey is finished. In fact, it simply provides us with another path to follow and opens doors previously closed to us. If nothing else, today proves that we are capable of anything we set our minds to. It took courage to make that first call to CBK. In order to be here today, we had to be determined to accomplish this goal. For the rest of our lives, we can look back on that courage and determination to remind ourselves that we are relentless because just look at what we have achieved. Thank you to my husband and my family for all their support. I know it wasn't easy being second to them. Thank you to my Saboba family, the CBK family, and especially Miss Woods, because she will always be Miss Woods. On behalf of the class of 2023, we want to recognize everyone who helped make this dream possible. Although, we may not say it enough. We know we wouldn't be here without you. My fellow graduates, CBK faculty, friends, family, and loved ones, make some noise because we absolutely did it. Thank you, Ms. Hernandez, for sharing your inspirational story. At this time, Dr. Deanna McCarty, Executive Director, Alternative Education, will present the class to Barbara Hale, President Barbara Hale, member of the Riverside County Board of Education for acceptance. We're almost there. All right. I am pleased to present the Comeback Kids Class of 2023 for acceptance by the Riverside County Board of Education. And I hereby certify that the members of the Comeback Kids Class of 2023 have completed all requirements established by the State of California and the Riverside County Board of Education for high school graduation, high school equivalency, or certificate of completion. On behalf of the Riverside County Board of Education, I proudly accept the Comeback Kids Class of 2023. Mm. And now, the moment many of you have been waiting for, the presentation of diplomas. Lucy Gonzalez and Chris Munakash, please come to the podiums to read student names.
Bethany Vistum. Marlena Bri Molina. Brianna Saldana. Sharon Hernandez. Gregory Fisher. Sophia Smith. Alexandra Castillo. Cynthia Garcia. Destiny Cervantes. Patrick Hill. Kimberly Basave. Nayeli Loera Orozco. Aspen Thrower. Amberly Martinez. David Tagle. Lourdes Mendoza. Enrique Orejel. Samira Alshalade. Anaya Edmond. Lakeisha Kauser. Christian Pimentel Salas. Kiara Vega Cadena. Matthew Munoz. Katarin Lopez Ortega. Mirsla Quesada. Kayla Alexander. Kaden Rose. Janae Wilson. Maya McLean. Madeline Barajas. Haley Molina. Vetter Mitchell. Luis Angulo. Valerie Sotelo. Maricela Galvan. Mexley Garcia. Anita De La Rosa. Yesenia Avila. Kimberly Martinez. Leonardo Rico. Aviami Jackson. Michelle Prado. Ryan Giardino. Lanita Matthews. Jasper Rodriguez. Siana? Yeah, Siana. Siana Marissa. Don Santos Garcia. Brian Gonzalez. Dequarian Shepherd. Monica Mesa. Precious Hill. Veronica Fonseca. Deja Bug. Amber Martinez. Kevin Mayberry. Sabrina Samayoa. <laughs> Celia Bejarano. Reina Castro. Xavier Herrera. Monique Sanders. Michael Martinez Cisneros. Savannah Sasueta. Janelli Montes Uribe. Matthew Juarez. Jacob Fye. Dominique Tua Mojeloa. Andrew Sevillano. Angelique Montoya. Aiden Smith. Salali Cabrera. Matthew Martinez. Ernesto Montoya. Merle Ramos. Jesse Sanchez. Hannah Stilly. Veronica Sanchez. 
Jasmine Carrillo. Yvette Zalea. Brianna Wood. Melanie Armenta. Esmeri Torres. Olga Juarez. Natalie Ramirez. Ramiro Carillo. Ashley Valenzuela. Valerie Juarez. Yvette Montoya. Ashley Reyes Hernandez. Priscilla Losa Vargas. Angelo Ramirez. Juan Belman. Spencer Lopez. Genevieve Fuentes. Fernando Estrada. Kamea Faber. Daniel Mendoza. Maria Ledesma. Jason Martinez. Monica Morales. Jesus Puente. Desiree Morales. Michelle Mena. Jordan Finney. <laughs> Kelly Russell. April Herrera. Genesis De Leon. Celeste Morgan. Sheree Fedrick. Tia Landry. Christian Cortez. Karina Quintanar. And Mia Herrera. Students, please be seated. So now it's my turn to have a few remarks, but I'll keep them short. So a few years ago, at one of our graduations, a student had decorated her graduation cap with a picture of balloons from the movie Up. And her cap said, your adventure awaits. It was my favorite graduation cap ever. So graduates, Going forward, you have your next adventure waiting for you. And all of us at Comeback Kids want you to know three things. First, it has been our honor to help guide you toward your graduation milestone, and we are grateful to have been a part of it. Second, there's that word again, believe in yourself, because you have learned the grad's formula. You've demonstrated that you are growth-minded, you're resourceful, actively engaged, determined, and socially responsible. And third, your adventure awaits. Go do great things. And congratulations to the Comeback Kids Class of 2023. <laughs> One more thing. One more thing. <laughs> and now, the changing of the tassels. So, in keeping with a long-standing tradition, graduates, please stand. 
turn and face your audience. <laughs> now, move your tassels from the right to the left side. Congratulations, you have now graduated. Thank you, thank you audience. We ask that you remain seated, keeping the way clear for our graduates as they exit the stadium. You can meet your graduate outside the stadium where they will be waiting for you.